power of great storytelling, I think, from a leadership point of view, can't be underestimated. My name is Karen Flug and I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for Inca Group. Most people haven't heard of Inca Group, but it's IKEA's largest retailer with 400 stores around the world in 32 different countries. We need to show that living sustainable and healthy life can be affordable as well, so that we provide tools and solutions for millions of people around the world to make better choices without having to be worse off for it. We have an advocacy role because our voice is heard. We partner and collaborate with others to drive transformational change across policy making, businesses and helping individuals with their choices. I would like to be a voice for those that don't have a voice. I think honesty and integrity and leading by example are really important and sticking with your own moral compass and your gut instinct too. I think the trust part, to be a strong leader, that's both trusting in your team and trusting others to deliver and letting them be, but also creating trust by delivering on those promises. It's not just the vision and the knowing where we want to get to, but it's about creating an emotional connection for those you're trying to lead as well. So that they're not just doing it because it's been dictated to from above. It's because your communication is so empowering and inspiring that people feel galvanized to take action and just, oh my gosh, I need to move this with you. And I'm here, I'm with you, let's get going. You know, inspiring storytelling isn't just a rigid scientific facts. Power of great storytelling from a leadership point of view can't be underestimated. I've had to teach myself to stop, listen and learn more in order to make wiser decisions and really to be more inclusive and take in totally different opinions as well, rather than sitting in your own echo chamber. And then I've also been in organisations where I've been stretched out of my comfort zone because I've realised that my moral compass and my values are not in line with that. And there you sort of have to decide whether you try and change it from within or whether you decide it's time to walk away. And I've had to then realize that being a stronger leader comes from not knowing all the answers and actually turning to others who are much wiser and more informed on different topics. It's okay to not know all the answers. If you're not careful, the temptation when you need to make decisions and move things in the business is to talk to your friends who are already on side so you're talking to yourselves essentially so for me the, the most surprising and strongest allies are those where actually you know they're going to have an opposing opinion uh, and they're not going to agree with you and then I've deliberately sought that I suppose you could say provocation because I've learned that diverse views are so important and also if we're going to move things across the business, we're not a separate sustainability team that's setting up a huge department that is then trying to drive things on our own while the rest of the business carries on as business as usual. We must anchor it in the business. So those people that maybe have been driven usually by financial metrics before, whether that's the CFO leadership team or country managers in the case of IKEA or department managers where they, their KPIs have all been around hitting growth targets, profit, bottom line, return on investment. And you're going in there saying, we need to spend X many millions and invest this in order to turn around sustainability, such as renewable heating and cooling in our stores, for example. You really need to get them on side first before it goes to a board for approval. And then externally, collaborating with people you may have thought of as competitors in the past. We're all realising we can't do this alone. Make choices wisely based on what matters most to you in terms of your own career path. If you're with businesses or any situation where you don't feel it aligns with your values, listen to your heart and your gut instincts as well as your head. It sounds Cliche to say that women don't back themselves as much as men, but back yourself more. Don't think that you have to be a sustainability expert. There's so many things that everybody can contribute towards if you have the passion and the inclination towards it. So it's also how do we lift each other up and support people who are more perhaps risk averse or don't have the self-belief yet to help give them that self-belief. 
I've really enjoyed both the online course and the residential that I was lucky enough to do. And it's really opened my mind to new perspectives. And meeting people from completely different sectors and industries and completely different backgrounds. I have learned so much in both courses. It was things I was perhaps familiar with, but I didn't know how to articulate it and how to pull it all together to then also share that with my team. So being able to articulate and the networking as well and the exposure to brilliant minds and the more practical business related solutions to take back with you. So it's been, yeah, fantastic.